Hey everybody, welcome back to the Movie Couple channel. I'm Wendy and I am going to be reviewing the, or giving you my thoughts on the Her Universe Fashion Show Update panel. They have this every year at WonderCon and every year like clockwork because I'm a huge fangirl of the Her Universe brand, I attend every year. So what's really cool about this panel is that since it's right before the next big convention, which is uh, San Diego Comic-Con, and that's where the Her Universe fashion show happens, they kind of give you an update of what the designers, uh, the winners of last year's fashion show, what they've been up to. They give you a sneak peek of the upcoming collection, and that's why I go, so I can figure out how much money I need to put aside for Comic-Con so I can buy these things. So um, this year, the theme is for the collection, not the runway show. Um, that the winners of last year, what they designed this year is a Avengers Endgame collection, which totally makes sense because Comic-Con, it'll, it'll be right after the hype. The movie's coming out in April. Comic-Con, it's in June or July in the summertime, so it's super appropriate. And there are a lot of pieces. So there are three winners from last year, and they got to design. I'm going to read my notes here because I my, my brain is so uh, tired. I'm just going to go ahead and give you the correct information that I jotted down during the panel. And they will have a Thanos jacket. They will have a Nebula uh, sports bra and shorts, so like athletic, athleisure type of a look. There's an Iron Man. Uh, it looks like an A-line dress. Um, there is a Hawkeye tank top. Captain America jersey dress, Captain Marvel jersey top, or just like shirt type of thing, Thor black denim vest, Rocket uh, based on Racket Raccoon, there's like overall, but they're shorts, and finally there's also a Black Widow piece in talks, it's sounding like it may be a suit jacket, and that is just uh, because they the designers haven't had a chance to see the movie so they can only do so much as, as far as the design goes before they finalize so this piece I guess will re be revealed to us later but I'm very very curious to see what that is going to look like um, so just to give you a little bit of details the Thanos uh, jacket is purple and gold of course and it's like this satiny like bomber jacket type of look it's got stitching on it so it says Thanos on the left chest and on the back it's it's uh, again embroidered and it's got Thanos gauntlet the infinity gauntlet and it's him snapping like this and on the bottom it has the lettering oh snap underneath because when you have geek fashion, you can just tie in so much. So, of course, for the lining on the inside, it's the galaxy, and you can see the Infinity Stones on the inside, which I think it's super cool. It would be even more cool if the jacket is reversible, because I would wear the Infinity Stone side, too. But just but maybe for the future, her universe, you can do a reverse. I think you've already done it, to be honest with you. I, I know this dress right here is reversible, but I don't know if a jacket has been done in a reverse fashion so there's the jacket for the nebula sports bra and shorts it's pretty much self-explanatory it's athletic wear sports bra shorts and they're like the short like Sophie shorts if you can think uh if you think of like a style and it's light blue and it's got these little uh designs that kind of matches like the the design that she has um in her look then we have the Iron Man dress which was the one that really stood out to me. It is a red dress as Iron Man's uh, uh, armor is, but what's cool is that they somehow worked an, an arc reactor to it into it, and it's not just a print of a circle of like an arc reactor. It's actually hidden, so there's a zipper down the middle right here, and it's about here, so when you, it's zipped up, and then when you unzip it, and it becomes a little V, and it unveils, the arc re reactor which I thought was pretty cool when they showed it in the teaser video the entire room basically gasped because no one saw it coming so it's kind of cool like a little nod to a transformational dress because we see a lot of those type of dresses um, come to life and transform during the Her Universe fashion show so I thought it was nice to have a little bit of that magic in uh, something that you can purchase from the Hot Topic. Then we have the Hawkeye tank top it is obviously purple uh, and I don't remember exactly what it says in the front. It is obviously purple, and the coolest detail is it's got a mesh back, and it's got uh, 
patches of, I don't know if you want to call it patches, but it's got a design of two arrows and they crisscross like this, like right on between the blade of your uh, back or between your shoulder blades. And I thought that was a nice little detail that that's uh, thrown in there. And I also like that they designed something for Hawkeye because I think he's just overlooked and does not get enough attention. <laughs> Next, we have the Captain America jersey dress. It reminded me, honestly, of like a baseball jersey, but it's long, it's extended. Um, and in the photo, in the video, they showed that it can be worn kind of loose. It's a little bit boxy for my liking, but you can fix that with the belt. You can cinch it with the belt or you can dress it up however you want. But it's very summery. I feel like everything they made minus the jacket because the jacket's like, you know, it's a jacket you're going to use it at night but everything else in the collection read a little bit more breezy summary to me um and the next item is the captain marvel it's a jersey top i kind of wanted something a little bit more to be honest from the captain marvel uh apparel just because we've gotten like the shirt already we got a really cool looking jacket um but they're i don't know i I guess I wasn't just expecting a jersey. Like, it's cool. It has all the little cool Captain Marvel details tied in, like the star emblem, her coloring. Um, but I don't know. I think, I, I guess I just want a little more. Maybe, maybe I wanted a different type of a Carol Danvers dress or something like that. But honestly, there is a lot of Carol Danvers stuff out there, so I don't, I don't mind this. For Thor, they designed a black denim vest. It's cut off on the arms uh, and it's kind of frayed. So it reminded me of a little bit of like a Sons of Anarchy jacket, but it's black denim. And on the back, it says God of Thunder and it's got Stormbreaker on the back, which looks really cool. Um, from the quick tease video they showed us, I think it's a full length, like goes all the way down to your waist, uh, to your hips. I would have loved it if they did like a crop because that would look really cute over a dress or just you know like a, like a white shirt you want to like or a tank top like you want to like french tuck it it'd be super cute and finally we have the rocket raccoon overall shorts this is the most uh i would say different piece out of the entire collection and so i would say this uh the overall and the iron man dress probably is the two that i've got my eye on and Till they come out with the Black Widow, maybe it's the suit jacket, we don't know yet, but uh, TBD on that and I'm very excited to see that. What's really cool is that the collection will be ready and online tomorrow. Usually they make us wait until Comic-Con and then you have to like hurry up and run to the Her Universe booth because they're going to sell out of the size and you have to wait in a really long line, which is part of the experience, I guess. Like going to Comic-Con, you shop for these exclusive, whether it be toys, collectibles, um, uh, apparel, things like that. Like if you really want something, you got to go get it. It's a part of the experience. I've never not gotten like a Her Universe item that I really wanted or uh, any sort of like apparel in, in, in that sense, like Funko Pops is a whole different story. Good luck with that. But um, I do appreciate that it will be online Sunday, March 31st, instead of us waiting all the way until Comic-Con. And I think part of the reason why is because the movie comes out in April. So why would you hold it until Comic-Con when you can start selling these now so people when they go see the movie they're excited about there They want to wear it to the movie. They want to wear it after the movie things like that So totally makes sense to me and I like that change and I would not mind if that was a trend that continued Maybe they release a couple of pieces pre Comic-Con and then the rest are like TBD You know at Comic-Con exclusive things like that. So uh, that's really really cool and then um, Last year when we got the Destination Disney or Dis Destination Disney yes collection we had a full collection it was like tops and bottoms and dresses there was um shoes there was makeup there was accessory and jewelry this year uh we are not going to see that for this collection there are nine pieces wait hold on there are eight pieces maybe nine depending on that black widow uh final piece but let's just call it uh nine for now until they can confirm or say no, there won't be the Black Widow piece. Um, it's a lot. It's it's a it's a big collection, and they are not going to be doing any sort of like accompaniment as far as accessories like jewelry, shoes, and makeup palettes, brushes, and things like that. That's not to say that Hot Topic won't put it out independently, or they'll have um, another brand create and design and sell from the store that's like Endgame merchandise. But as far as the her universe 
designer collection, these nine pieces will be it. Then they talked about the Her Universe fashion show, which is coming up and they are starting to take, uh, I'm actually not sure when they're taking application. I am not a designer. I not I am not good I have great ideas but I can't sew uh to save my life so I you probably won't ever see me enter a competition like this but I'm happy to have walked in the show which was like a total uh check off that bucket list of mine um it's fantastic and all of these designers are so talented so when um you enter every year and you start to design something there's always a theme to follow so this year's theme is the power of fashion and let me just gonna reach for my notes again and um, they're looking for designs um, being to be inspired by a powerful character or a powerful story, which I think is really cool because powerful can mean so many things to so many different people. I am really excited to see uh, how that's going to play out on the runway this year at Comic-Con. I can't wait. Well, that's a wrap on this video and on my recap of the Her Universe Fashion Show update from WonderCon. If you want to get a little bit more detail in uh, what happened at the panel, you can go ahead and visit my website, which is www.geekandglitter.com for more details. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the Movie Couple channel, and we'll see you next time.